Hello, my name is Neil and I've been a self-employed architect in the UK since 2009. I specialise in high quality alterations and extensions to private homes and I make videos about the reality of doing this kind of work. In case you're wondering, I'm not in a record store. This is my home office. I've always loved listening to music while I work and the record sleeves also brighten the place up. If you've been watching the channel, you will notice I've started filming to camera. For the past year, I did voiceover on stock footage, but now the channel has grown, I thought it's time to show my face. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I make new videos every week. I've done a lot of patio doors over the years and almost all have been conventional sliding type. Only two of my past projects featured bifold patio doors. If you haven't seen these before, they open and close on a series of concertina hinges and fold against a wall when shut. I've always advised clients against installing bifold patio doors and I advise the clients on those two previous jobs against them also. Now, before I get jumped on by the manufacturers or sellers of bifold patio doors, I should point out there are two reasons I don't like them, and you can decide for yourself if any of this is relevant for your project. The first reason relates to climate. I live in Scotland. Most days are too wet or cold to leave any kind of door open. A bifold patio door has a lot more frame relative to the amount of glass, so you are going to spend most of your time staring at that frame when it's closed. A more conventional sliding patio door, by contrast, has far more glass relative to the frame, so when it's shut, it acts like a transparent wall. You don't notice it, it just blends into the background. If you live somewhere with a milder climate and can leave the doors open more often, this issue might not be a big deal. It depends on the context. A second reason is more practical. A bifold door has a lot of moving parts and they can wear out and fail. In both the projects I mentioned, the bifold patio doors had heavy double glazing and this put a lot of force on the moving parts each time the door was opened and closed. On the day I took these photos, the doors had been installed only a few weeks before. The client was telling me how great the doors were and that he could push them open with just one finger. I proceeded to push the doors with one finger and oh, the door came out of the frame. It was all I could do to hold the thing in place. The client got the glazing company around within an hour and it was fixed. As far as I know, there haven't been any other problems, but it doesn't inspire confidence. The bifold patio doors on the other project have had hinges replaced several times. I think the client has lost faith in them. Regular sliding patio doors use ball bearings in the floor track to allow the doors to move back and forth. This is much more reliable, they don't wear out. I've been in hundreds of homes over the years and seen sliding patio doors dating from the 1970s. They're older than me and still in perfect working order. But I've never seen an old bifold patio door. Maybe the technology is too recent or maybe they just don't last. If you have any horror stories about bifold patio doors or if you disagree completely and love them, let me know about it in the comments. If you are planning a project to your own home and would like some advice from an experienced architect, I offer a consultation service. You can check this out on the reallifearchitect.co.uk website. I put a link in the description below.